Vehicle damage, $900. Passenger injuries, severe facial lacerations and dental damage. Medical expenses, $15,000. Comments, restraint system not in use at the time of crash. This happens about every 16 seconds. Vehicle damage, $800. Driver injuries, massive head and chest damage. Dead on arrival. Comments. Restraint system not in use at the time of crash. This happens about every 10 minutes. It doesn't have to be. Vehicle damage, $4,100. Occupants injuries, none. Comments. Restraint system in use at the time of crash. Sixteen seconds between each injury. Not a very long time, but plenty of time to put on safety belts. Time enough to save as many as 20,000 lives a year. This is the convincer. Its purpose? Convince people to use safety belts. Yet many still refuse. Why? I don't wear those things. It's safer to be thrown clear of a car in an accident. The probability of death is five times greater if you are thrown from the car. What if the car catches on fire? Then I'm stuck. With belts on, chances are you will not be knocked unconscious. Oh, everybody knows that seat belts cause internal injuries. Not when properly adjusted, with the lap belt snugly against your hip bone. The shoulder belt should cross your shoulder and chest. Your head should meet the head restraint squarely. I don't need seat belts. I'm just going down to the store for a few minutes. It's only a few miles, and I never drive fast. Three out of four traffic deaths occur within 25 miles of home at speeds as slow as 12 miles per hour. Hard to believe that slow speeds kill? That is 10 miles per hour. Every one of those was 10 miles per hour. Convincing, isn't it? In Australia, where seatbelt usage is now mandatory, a study was conducted. The results are startling. Skull and brain injuries. Down 33%. Spinal injuries, down 40%. Facial injuries, down 50%. Chest and lung injuries, down 50%. Eye injuries, down 75%. Most startling statistic of all, Deaths down 20%. I hope you're convinced. Please spend the short time it takes to buckle up. This driver did. His wife didn't. The choice is yours.